right guys welcome back to day three and day four so this is day three here you can see we've removed all the old tiles we've replaced the plasterboard with the green plasterboard which is moisture resistant plasterboard so it's ready for tiling we also have started filling up any holes or marks on the ceilings and walls so that these areas are ready for paint as you can see here now we started the tiling and this is actually day four so we started the tiling day four we're doing a brick pattern as you can see it's overlapping the tiles in the center like a brick wall would be working our way up we're doing one wall at a time now we're going to leave the difficult cuts for the following day actually day four actually so as you can see we're getting the main areas done and i believe by the end of this day we would have pretty much finished the walls and just before we left we also did the floor as well So we've also applied some white PVC tile trim around the door reveal just to neaten the edges. So again, we did the floor before we left. We ripped up the old floor, which you could see was done on day one, put some new plywood down and then tiled over it. And the remaining areas, the little trims at the top will be done tomorrow. So this is the progress on day four, day four. So we've put new plywoods down and let's see a little bit of the plywood here. And then obviously we've tiled the floor. We have put in some skirting boards, some new skirting boards all the way around. So there, all the filling and prep has been done, caulking and everything. It's all been done, repairs to holes and so on. All the tiling is complete as well. We've also built built this out of two by four, built a frame, lined it with plywood, tiled it on top. We've put in a new window sill as well. All this wood tomorrow will get rubbed down and undercoated in white. It's all gonna be painted white. All the rooms gonna be painted in white. Um oh we also put in a bath panel as well. Had a bath. Um, so the only thing is, I'm going to try and see if we can get this a bit straighter, but under this bath, there's a timber frame that goes all the way around and it seems like it's slightly leaning towards the right hand corner and it's stopping this from moving in. So I'm going to try and see if I can do something under the bath with that. Plumbing has been done. That's ready for the sink, hot and cold and waste pipe shower it's obviously being plumbed in so tomorrow's job grout in here give it a good clean grout and have in here painted and then we'll have one more day in here fit the sink fit the toilet do all our siliconing fit the shower screen and any little touch-ups so that's it, so hopefully another two days will be done. So this is day four, so it should be done within six days. So moving on, see you tomorrow.